up guys we've been talking a lot of paper tables and data and now it's time to actually do some exercises uh, essentially we're going to be asked either these type of questions numerical or quality uh, qualitative for example qualitative is will be is it a solid is it a vapor is it a liquid and not only that is it a mixture is it saturated uh, it's a saturated vapor, superheated vapor, subcooled liquid, etc. The essentially the phase. And the other question will be calculate the property, a numerical value. For example, given that pressure, calculate the temperature of saturation. Or given that pressure and temperature, calculate the internal energy or the enthalpy. Or actually you don't need to calculate, you just going to look for that. So either you have this set of points or this other set of points. And just a reminder, you may also find out the entropy, which is a interesting property, but we are not going to see that right now. That's a concern for the second law, which will be analyzed in further blocks or chapters. Now, first example, find the enthalpy, that's H, of a saturated vapor. So it's a vapor which is saturated, okay, at 12 Celsius. So before going to tables and you don't even know which table to look, let's do one thing. Uh, we know that we have tables in which we can find saturated data. We have saturated data for normally they divide it for liquid and vapor. They look you the values. So we're going to be finding our vapor, okay? Now we know what one atmosphere we get 100 Celsius degrees. At 2 elf Celsius, we will have, of course, way less than one atmosphere. Okay, guys, so let's go take out our saturated steam table, which is this one. Since we're talking about 12 Celsius, it's this stuff right here. Actually, let me make a zoom and let's go and find you know, we have temperature, we have pressure, we have specific volume internal energy we have enthalpy which is the one we are interested in, and entropy which is not that important right now 12 celsius will be this here also so I, let me mark that okay and well one important thing here is that you have saturated liquid and saturated vapor data so you just need to choose the correct one since we're talking about saturated vapor let's choose this column and the actual value of that specific enthalpy will be 2,523 kilojoules per kilogram of vapor. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out its content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.